and historic opportunity for Drury Volleyball. The program has gone from never making an NCAA tournament to being the number one seed and host of the Midwest region. It's number one Drury against number eight seed Hillsdale. The Chargers are sixth in the country at 14.7 kills a set, while Drury is a top five team in the nation in blocking. Drury and Hillsdale actually played each other earlier this season in the Midwest region crossover. DU won that match three to one. Here we go, first set, and Drury comes out with a little bit of the jitters. Hillsdale controlling the pace up four. This is Landon Kozlowski trying to bring DU back. Attacks from the left with the Chargers up 19-16. Hillsdale showing no signs of being phased by the Drury crowd. Next point, Kara Viltel comes right back and hammers it to regain the momentum for the Chargers. Still a four-point game, 22-18. Paige Vanderwall attacks. Evan Larson and Emily Kretz there to slam the door emphatically. Drury so good at blocking all season, but Hillsdale playing with that carefree, confident attitude. Next point, Viltel again on the kill, 23-19, and the Chargers this close. Now 24-20. Kendra Sater sneaks it over. It's initially called a point for Drury, but they reverse the decision and call it an attacking error. So Hillsdale takes the first set 25-20. This is exactly what happened in the match between these two earlier this season. DU wins the second set here 25-22. Now in the third, Drury rolling up 18-13 and here comes the block party. Viltel sees one-on-one -on -one coverage but the problem is that one person is Bentley Mera. Thou shall not pass! Block solo for Mera. Ironically, she was not credited with a block solo here. Hmm. Then it's Larson and Kozlowski in tandem. The juniors give Drury a 20-13 lead. Next play, watch this beautiful set from Sater. Mara gets up and then just detonates. No return on this one. Watch again. Look at the hang time from Bentley Mara here. Just obliterates the ball. 21-13, Drury on top. Keep it going. Kendra Sater quietly putting up big numbers tonight. She finished with 54 assists, 14 digs, and 7 kills. Sneaks that one over for the 21-14 lead. Kozlowski going to put this set out of reach literally and figuratively, DU rebounds to win set 3, 25-17, and leads 2-1, to one, heading into the fourth. Let's take you there. It did not start well for Hillsdale. They start the set down 6-1, to one, Drury finding their mojo in the third set and not looking back. Now 12-8, to eight, Emily Crest attacks from the left side and finds an open space. Lead extends to 4. Hillsdale slowly creeping back in. Chargers get it to 2, but here comes the blocking again. The defense from Drury coming up in key spots. Mara in fourth on that one. 15-11 Drury, and then watch this play. This is what postseason effort looks like. Hannah Gates attacks, Bree Schmidt lays out for the save, then Kayla Allison puts her body on the line, then Crest lays out, they get it back over, speed it up a little, Crest gonna get blocked, it's about to fall for Hillsdale, but Sater keeps it alive, Schmidt almost trips over her, then Crest's tip is blocked, it eventually winds up in a Taylor fourth kill on a play that took over 30 seconds in total, and the Panthers fired up about it, showing the DU ladies a little love, a packed student section tonight at the O, and you could feel their energy, a momentum blow from Drury to Hillsdale on that play, meanwhile DU can almost taste it, we give you the slow-mo, Crest seals it, she was stellar tonight 18 kills Drury wins it three to one 13 kills for Bentley Mara which moves her into the top 10 all time in Drury volleyball history and then Bree Schmidt her 35 digs tonight gives her the single season record in that category currently sitting at 749 on the season on to the round of 32 for Jennifer Bonner and company I felt like we were just meshing really well and um, like the fire was there we were all going all out for every ball and um, but we kind of just had this, um, like we worked together in a way that we knew that they were going to get it up, so we had to be there to get it over. Um, I think, I mean, as a senior, we've never had a crowd that large, and uh, our student section looked like it was uh, overflow the O. Um, I think it really brought a lot of energy. It did bring some nerves in that first set, but I think settling into that and going into the second set, I think we kind of used it to energize us and. Uh, push through those long rallies in the third and fourth set. You know, we talked about afterwards, you, ultimately we're now in the top 32 in the nation, and we said, man, that feels awesome, but imagine what 16 feels like. And so I think that's just that energy and momentum we carry into tomorrow. We had some good success tonight. We made some adjustments. Um, we continue to compete against them, and now we take that energy and we put it in tomorrow.